Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. In the last episode, we killed the uh, head of the guild here in Nordopolica, Bellius. You know, as you do. So let's get the heck out of here before we get arrested. I mean, here he is a murderer and everything. The Union's really done it now. I always knew that Dawn was after the Duce's good stuff. Wow. The only faction that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Union and the Empire is Polistrali. The Dawn in the north and Bellius to the south, they weren't playing around. What in the world is going on? Duce Bellius is dead? It can't be true. What's going to happen to the city if, the, if Duce Bellius dies? This city will be finished without Duce Bellius. Kozakura is just, uh... Laying around, though, there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and buy some things, because, you know, we, we did sort of... I don't need to buy those. Did kind of go through some, some things. Just a few life bottles were used. Get some more uh, food items. Oh, I think they're selling new stuff now. So I do not remember using all that. Any new synthesis stuff? Probably not. I think it's more based on when you have items available to synthesize with that uh, you get the stuff, so... Let's go! Oh, hi, guards! Don't, don't mind us. This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor, then. But what if the harbor's blockaded, too? Well, the Weasand of Kadosis is blocked off. It's not how you uh, pronounced it before. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. Y you know that makes uh, Yuri the uh, captain, right? I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old does. man? He left us. You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Mm, he better. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's almost a shame he's gone for that one, Judith. You're Pretty sure it's not. Lady Estelis, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. Mm, yeah, but he's got you in your little teddy bear outfit. But I... I... Estelle's not going back with you. Always with the fireballs. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. Eh, it works as a distraction, I guess. Dang it, I wasn't able to save. You guys aren't part of the hunting blades, are you? Eh, if you are, I'm gonna have to arrest you at, at once. Why does that have capitalized there? Well, if you're not, all is well. We're not interested in harassing the citizenry, citizenry with baseless arrests. Well, well, that's that's good to know. I can't believe Duce Bellius is dead. We were supposed to meet and have all manner of discussions. What an unfortunate twist of fate. It was such a promising chance. Chance for what? This must be a message from the heavens. Go and discover the origin of the Critia. I... I don't think it works that way. 
Captain Schwann is far too busy. So the lieutenant does his job. Oh. Sure, LeBlanc. Way to go, just sleeping on the job there. Our guardian deity, the monster, it was killed. Guildsmen from the Union did it. What barbarians. If that really was our guardian, the city is finished. I, I mean, you know, like, it's not like she seemed to do much. Oh, hey, Flynn. Flynn. Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Yeah, but, I mean, we do outnumber him. Return Lady Esteliz and the stone. Um. So, we don't, we're not taking Lady Esteliz. She's coming with us. So we can't exactly return her. It's her choice. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing, too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Yormgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Oh, hey, Sodia. Are, are we going to have to blast you with fireball again? Hand it over. Nope. Whoa, is he serious? Well, look, uh, Carol, you have to understand that he's learned that Yuri's a murderer now. Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Yeah, that's our job. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, no. how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you going to follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Probably would. Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain... You won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? <laughs> I don't think it quite works that way, Rita. We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Uh, good job uh, stopping him there, Flynn. Oh, Captain, my Captain. What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! Oh, you know, I'm just a little murderer. You men, raise the anchor! Y you, you men? Yeah, men, raise the anchor! How the hell did you get down here first? Did, was there a secret passageway that you, you took? from don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us hey that's the guy do we have to Well, time to run a blockade. Full speed ahead. Well, I guess, I guess that means that our uh, blasty got replaced. What's happening? Judy? Where is this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blastia? Uh, I think it might be coming from the Apatheia. Yeah! Kind of by accident. The rudder handling's perfect. What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. You might want to look behind you, Rita. What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Welp. Why would you... Oh, is, uh, is Rita going to realize now who uh, Judith is? This is the path I have chosen. You're the dragon freak! Took you a little while to realize it. 
Judy, wait! Goodbye. I mean, you could just tell Judith? us what's going on. Why? Why? No, not not going to. All right. Judith left the party. Damn it! Raven joined the party. It's not. Doesn't make up for it, game. Our genius mage is given the Sarasblastia her undivided attention. Well, that's good, I suppose. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. Uh, right, but I mean, like, it's destroyed now, right? So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Ah, I see. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Patty. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Yeah, what with the uh, rest of the party discovering that you're a murderer. Might as well see how they're doing. The truth about Judith. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. That's true. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. I mean, she could have, like, you know, talked to us a little bit about it first. Well, let's go ahead and save it, at least. Anything down here? There's a lot of swords. It's open, but there's no point in going inside. It's just a storage room. Alright. Up we go. Ah, there you are, boy. Yeah, but don't call me boy, and I was literally just down there talking to you. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. Hold on. I'm thinking. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I can't think of any. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. And I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry. I mean, Antelakea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Well, the question is, a lie by whom? Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? And what's with the mark on his face? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. Mm. I heard that an ally of the Don's had been captured by a monster. And I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apatheia, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's Claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Eh, it's a little bit of a goof. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. That's a good point. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Uh, probably more than you do. He is older. Uh, although I, I still refuse to refer to him as an old man. Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. And he lets people down. Palastrale is not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. You would think that Nats would be the Duce now. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. Well, when in doubt, drink. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Dongrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Don't don't tell me what to do. Gotcha. 
I actually do know how to get out of this, but... Oh? An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. The end of the guild? I was okay with taking out bad people on my own. But I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, earlier. too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia? It wasn't supposed to be this way. Who's a good pupper? <laughs> yeah, you know I'm a murderer. So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you around, repeat. <laughs> Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Now, and before that, we should look for some ham. So, how's it going? Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... I know, it's so weird. Someone with a spear being the person with the spear that we'd seen before. It's so weird. Why was she with us in the first place? Um, you know, just to uh, idly destroy Blasty along the way and, and curious about what we were doing. That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. It is the sort of thing that you're obsessed with, that's true. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Mm, it's a little bit. Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. What happened to that volume? You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Ruggo and Kumor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Wow, Rita, that's... It's pretty dark. Clearly she doesn't live in our world. Are you seeing the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon, and about the Entelechaea... And about why she was destroying Blastia. I mean, from what we've picked up so far, she's not going after just any old Blastia. She's, like, going after ones that, uh, uh specifically had problems, like, that were designed to be problematic, shall we say. I don't know, using air incorrectly or something like that. I don't know. I'm sure it'll get explained later, and I don't remember it from when I watched a, a Let's Play of this game, but pretty sure that well, that's what was going on. It's like things that were leaking air, polluting or something. Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. That is not incorrect. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia. Eh, I think you'll have to forgive her eventually, because she is going to rejoin the party. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. I don't think that would work. She's not coming back. Yes, she is. Hmm. I couldn't say. I can. This isn't the type of game that just permanently has uh, people leave and never come back. Oh, Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. 
Well, he did just learn that the person he was looking up to is a murderer, Yuri. Yeah. I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... It turns out that you were a vicious, brutal, cold-blooded murderer, Yuri. Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all. I'm working as hard as I can. All right, then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can, too. Hey, Yuri, can I ask you something? Yeah. Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Kumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? Well, I mean, you would kind of react this way. I kept meaning to tell you. Really? Really, Yuri? Did you really? I don't think you did. I think you pretty clearly intended to not tell anyone. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? Well, I mean, we know now that uh, Kumor was about to be arrested. A little preemptive there, uh, Yuri. I think there are some things that you have to do, even if they're a crime. Yeah, let's not uh, uh, compare this to, say, violating uh, laws that require you to sit in the back of a bus because of the color of your skin, Yuri. Someone has to do them, even if it means taking the blame. Except you avoided taking the blame. Maybe so, but even still... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah. Someone has to do it. Hello, Patty. How's the ship heading? Hmm. Apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. <laughs> what, to get stuck on the open ocean with a non-working ship? Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but... You've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Pretty sure bright red eels don't have ears. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. Oh my. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're going to quit searching for your memories, does it? I, I'd like to know more about my grandfather. So I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future. And how I should think about the name Ifri. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? Hi. Well, I mean, like most of these types of games, everyone splits up after the uh, adventure's over. But I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. Like people I can make fun of. So, when my memory returns... I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also... Oh, she'll be back, don't worry. I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Yeah... Rocking on the gentle waves, sailing on and on. Alright, Estelle. What are you going to say about me murdering people? And it's not even Crusader Kings 2. Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. Um, maybe you should, like, open your eyes or let them focus or something? After what happened to Bellius... And with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh, yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. 
but you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? Mm, I mean, you could have. I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Belia said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. That's a good point. Let me think about it. Okie dokie. Let's rest while we can. Well, you know, I mean, everyone but Rhea. Well, I finished making adjustments to the Blastia. So did you just put in the old one, or did you fix the new one? I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. Yeah, there's a few things that we need to do first, though. Right. We need to head to Dongris too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius's apatheia. Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? <laughs> no. We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? Mm, no, not really. It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius's dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Not sure if it would be unjust. It's not exactly a definition of just that I'm familiar with. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. I mean, you could certainly say it might be dishonorable, but that's not exactly the same thing as just. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Don also might know why everyone wants these Apatheia so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. And why Judy broke our thingy. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. Who was that? If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don, too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of an understatement. And I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It's almost as if the entire storyline of the game intertwines with itself. There aren't multiple separate storylines. Hmm. Nah, that couldn't be it. It was the Don that told us to go find the Apathy in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest, too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us, too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Really? Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Ifreed's? Well, that's a fair point. Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Ifreed and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. I mean, isn't that pretty common knowledge? Then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. Sounds good to me. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrest. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. 
I'd wager that it'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. But first... We have to end the episode. And then next episode will be side questy stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, not not save. Really? I cannot save it here on, on the world map on the boat. Really, game? Really? That seems kind of crummy, actually. Alrighty. Well, um... When we come back next time, um, back to sailing. See you then, everyone.